Hello everyone, Mr. Terminal here for Cloud Infrastructure Services. In this video, we would be looking how to configure and set up your own Jitsi Meet, your own conferencing solution on Microsoft Azure. Now, firstly, you need, we are going to deploy this on a virtual machine and we can directly pick it up from the marketplace and just for your information links all the important links will be in the description and the steps would also be provided and yeah so in the marketplace let's look for Jitsi and we would pick up Jitsi Mate video conferencing server this is the one let's select create you can choose your own resource group or create a new one let i will stick to the defaults as much as possible you can name your virtual machine anything region i am okay with us east us availability options are okay image is by default picked on ubuntu everything is as we need size for test purposes this is more than enough yeah we would go for authentication type ssh public key again default is okay this is also okay disk for high performance pick premium ssd and for now we can go for that as well networking by default you don't have to manage because in the image does it for you as you can see otherwise you would have to configure ports in your default configuration but if since you are using an image this should be fine this vm image has pre-configured network security group rules so you are good to go don't worry about anything and you can go for directly for review and create doesn't take that long yeah once the process uh, the loading is done you can review all the data settings uh, and everything just review it it's all fine as we did and you can download the private key and create the resource allow it to download and the deployment has begun so it will create some other resources as well to configure the whole thing you don't have to worry about it it's all gonna happen in the background it will show you for sure and deployment is in progress So right now our resource group Jitsi Meet group does not have any resource in it. It will start creating this so our VM can work optimally. You got the network. Security group is configured. Virtual net group is okay. And yeah, finally our virtual machine is being created. It says created. Let's wait for the deployment to complete. And our deployment is complete. So we will go to the resource. And we have got our own virtual machine working, right? And this is our public IP address. Right now, if we go to the address, let me just copy this. You won't get any response as far as if you go directly. So to configure it, we are going to SSH into it. And 
So go to the file, your PEM file. Let me see what one is. This. Uh, it's the second one for me. And just paste this command, my private keypad. You can also use putty, whatever suits you to SSH. For me, it's Jitsi meet key dot two. Just SSH into this server, yes. All right. If you get this, just do ch mode to allow it the access. It's fine. SSH again. You are into this virtual machine. Once you have SSH into the VM instance, you need to edit the host file first. Let's do that. You can use whatever editor you prefer. And of course, host. This requires root access, so sudo it. Here you need to enter one more line. The IP address of this virtual machine. Use this. You can use localhost and whatever your domain is. I don't have a domain for if whatever your domain is, enter it here. I'm going without domain. So I'm just going with localhost, save the file, and reboot this. You can restart this as well. successfully restarted the virtual machine you need to ssh again so once you have restarted and rebooted you can ssh again after some time give it some time it might have it will take some time to get back up a minute or two not a lot and we are back into it now we need to install jitsi meet this command will be provided in the description please look into that Jitsi. the host name of the current installation so this should be your domain again but right now I'm just going to use my IP. That should do the job for now. Here the SSL certificate works for domain name. But right now, yeah, this is the same process you have to use. Generate a self-signed certificate. Okay. You are good to go. You might get prompts in some cases, so just answer them, but if you have followed what I have done, you should not get any prompts. And we are done. So if you call your local host, just for checking, you should get an output. And if we go, you will get this error because I did not have a domain name and hence I did not have any SSL certificates. That's why you're getting this with the domain name. This will not happen without the domain name. You just you can just continue with visit this website and your TC meet will start. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, this is your own personal GC meet conference. 
Sync solution. I can name it anything. Let's go. Allow it and it works. The camera is about here and the microphone is here. That's the complete setup on Azure. As long as the instance is running, you should work perfectly fine. Go to the IP address and the domain name in case the domain name you provided. And you, this will work every time. So, yeah. The only condition is the instance should be up and running. Do not stop the instance. The IP will not change and everything is going to work smoothly. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and let us know. All the guide has been provided in the description again. Thank you for watching.